Hi teachers, in this video we are going to take a look at setting up Teacher Monster to Read. This video has been updated for the changes that came to Teacher Monster to Read in the beginning of 2022. The first thing you need to do if you do not have an account is you're going to want to actually set up your Teacher Monster to Read account. You're going to go to teachermonster.org, select get started, and then choose to sign up. If you're signing up for the first time, you're going to sign up as a teacher. Please use your updated N Olmstead because we are going to N Olmstead later this school year. Having everything under N Olmstead will just kind of help simplify things. And then you'll want to create your password and accept the user agreement. If you already have an account, you'll want to click the teacher and log in to your account. This is, these are the new options that students will see, and I haven't found out a way to turn off all, any of these, so do be aware that students no longer just get the one Teacher Monster to Read section. There's now Reading for Fun and Number Skills as well. So be aware of that when you're giving students directions on what you want them to do in the platform. Now, if you're looking at setting this up so that it works with Clever, we do have a little setup in the interface first. We're going to click on account and go to player management. You'll see I have a couple of players in here. Players are set up with only their first name. And then we do want to make sure that players are set up with the passwords that are auto generated. So underneath actions, you're going to select change password settings and you'll want to do the auto generated passwords. This is the only one that seems to work with Clever. So you need those that it generates. You will go ahead and add all of your students, just entering their first name, create player, the player has been created. You do have the ability to download all password cards and this is what you'll want to input into Clever. So once you have all of your students entered, we'll click to download our password cards and select download. Now I have my password cards for my students. I can see the student's name. If you need to add a last initial like this one, you would just put student A. I can see their funky password and the class code. In Clever, there are two things I need to do. The first is I need to enter those students' username and password, and then I need to send the code directly to instructional technology so that that can be managed on the back end. This is an update from before. Um, normally we didn't have to do this, but now with the new way that the login works, we have to program this class code on the back end in Clever. So to enter the student's username and password, you'll want to log into your Clever portal. And instead of logging in as each student, you can actually do this from the help a student feature. So you'd select help a student and search for that particular student's name. This first thing is asking if they can log into Clever. You're going to just say no, that doesn't solve your problem. You're then going to search for Teacher Monster app. And once you see the Teacher Monster app, it will ask if they can see it in their Clever portal and you will say yes. You now have the ability to either update the credentials or reset to default credentials. If you have old credentials um, in there from, let's say, a prior school year, you may need to reset before you select update. So I'm going to just select reset at the moment. It's reset. Now I'm ready to set the credentials. What I would do in the username blank is grab the exact name as it is listed, place it in the username blank, grab the password, as it is listed, notice I'm copying and pasting directly from the PDF to make my life easy and make sure that I get those passwords correct and then select update. Once you have that, you do not want to save all these passwords to your own computer. You'll have this and you can go through and update students' passwords from this help a student option in the portal at any point. 
once you have all of the students done, do be aware the final step is you need to take and email this code to instructional technology so that that programming can be done on the back end. Once that is finished, students should be ready to log in using those new credentials. I have a student here who has all of those credentials ready to go. And when they click on it, the screen will take a minute to pull that student's username and information, and then this is what the student portal will look like. If everything has been set up and students click this and you get an error message, usually the first time you need to close out of Teacher Monster and then just try it again from Clever. For whatever reason, it tends to trip up the very first time you use it, but then after that, things will work seamlessly. The one caveat to keep in mind is if students ever receive a message at the top of their Clever portal that says the Clever extension needs installed, please reach out to Instructional Technology. That extension should be auto-installed, but occasionally we find Chromebooks that for some reason don't pull over student extensions so that apps like Teacher Monster and PowerSchool can work through Clever. If you have any issues, don't hesitate to reach out.